Good morning. Craig Howard here. Happy to be with you again this morning. Did you ever notice how quickly we accumulate stuff? <laughs> I don't know about you, but my shed out here is so full of tools and equipment and all kinds of stuff. Peanut came to say good morning. It's so full of stuff that I could, it's, it's hard to get through. It's hard to get in. Uh, I had to go in it yesterday to get some screws that I needed for something. And, and I'm stepping over things to get back to where my containers are that have all my screws in them. Um, my basement is full of stuff. My, my whole house, it just, I mean, it, we're not hoarders and it, it's not like there's just a path you can get through. The house is, is comfortable and, and neat, but, but we definitely have more stuff than we need. And it's amazing how quickly you can accumulate stuff. Um, I was talking to somebody the, the other day that had to move and they had, uh, got one of those big dumpsters and brought it in just to put stuff in that they haven't used or haven't done anything with for two or three years. They said, we don't have time to do a yard sale and we're just not going to hang on to it. Um, and I, and I understand when we moved from Peru, Indiana, when, when my family, uh, moved from Peru, Indiana, we brought a dump truck in just to, to get all the stuff, all the junk that, that was little stuff that, that, we no longer needed and really no longer were even going to use uh, just to, I think we hauled one or two dump truck loads of stuff to a dump. Whenever I was moving my uncle uh, out of his house and, and trying to get some things cleaned up, I forget how many loads of junk we hauled to the dump. And it's just incredible how quickly, not just the junk that we don't use, but how much stuff we accumulate that goes beyond our needs. You know, Jesus, or the Bible says, my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory. And, and we acknowledge that there are some things that we need in life, but how many things do we have in our life? How many things do we hold on to that they're not needs. They're just things that we saw that we wanted, things that we needed. Most of us have way more clothes than we need. Many of us have more shoes than we need. We have more stuff than we need. And yet the Bible tells us in Matthew chapter 6, lay not up for yourselves treasures on earth which moth and rust will corrupt, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Um, we spend a lot of time accumulating, yes, peanut, we spend a lot of time accumulating treasures here on this earth, accumulating stuff. But how much time do we invest in laying up heavenly treasures? where moth and rust won't corrupt, where thieves can't break through and steal. Eternal treasures, treasures that matter, things that matter in not just this life and for the lives of people that we care about, but well beyond that. Not nearly enough. Not nearly enough. Think about that this morning. I'm on the run. I've got to head in and help out with the newspaper. But wanted to drop this real quick instead of trying to do it on the road. So where's your treasures? Because the Bible says where your treasure is, that's where your heart's going to be also. You think about that this morning. God bless you. Lord willing, I'll see you tomorrow. Mom and dad, if you're watching, I love you.